All right, so back to this. Honestly, I didn't think I'd be making another video today. It's, it's 10 p.m. at night and I'm in my car. It's like a completely dark out. I guess I'm in a lit area, but still. But again, I just finished the show and really wanted to make this video again. This I'm going to try to do this in one part. Maybe it ends up being a two. Well, so again, let me rephrase that because I'm going to make this video and then I'll make a follow on video. Right. But again, so it won't really be a two part. But again, right. It, it kind of will be. They'll just be, again, just separate topics, just one after another. They're both related. So anyway, right. But again, since it's 10 p.m. and I'm in my car and I'm making this video, right, you know, again, clearly it's something that's on my mind. Because uh, again, right, I finished, like I mentioned, I finished the uh, last four episodes, right? So I finished the full 12 episodes, uh, which is, again, the season of the show, right, High Rise Invasion. So uh, I guess, yeah, I mean, you can kind of tell by the video title, right? I should always start off with that, the video title, right? Again, you know. Uh, Hires Invasion, like, season uh, finale improvements, right? And again, by finale, I mean pretty much the last episode. That's pretty much how it lines up. Um, so again, in improvements, right? And then, then as I mentioned, this will be a kind of a two-part. The next video will be, again, right, season two, I guess, or post, not even season two. I'll just call it, like, post-finale predictions or something. And uh, you're probably wondering, asking, oh, why, like, what's this post-finale shit, right? You know? Uh, if it's 12 episodes, right, one season long. And that's because the show isn't actually finished yet. Uh, again, you know, the like, literally the show hasn't finished. Like, you know, the last episode isn't the end of the show, right? There's still more to be, uh, again, made, right? So, like, it hasn't actually, like, resolved itself. So, but it did end for, again, you know, that first season, right? Again, you know... So I don't know if there's a season two in the works. The show released in 2021. So I don't know if there's a season two in the works, which again, granted, and I'll get this, I'll save this for the next video, which would seem kind of weird because it doesn't seem like they need an entire other season more than like just two or three more episodes to wrap it up. But again, who knows, right? So I don't know if there's a season two in the works, which again, they only really need two or three more episodes to wrap it up. So I don't know if it's in the works or something, because again, it released in 2021. And but again, it is the case to where, again, the finale for season one, right? That last episode. Again, you know, it's not finished. It's not complete, right? There's more left on the table. You know, it hasn't wrapped itself up or concluded, right? You know, ended with more questions than answers, right? So let's put it that way. But again, most of that. And that's just honestly for context or background, right? Just to kind of, for the current state of the show and this video. Most of kind of the stuff related to that, I'm going to touch on in the next video I make, which would be the post-finale uh, predictions, right? For this video and this video specifically, again, it's going to be about basically the finale, season one finale and improvements, right? And again, that's what this video is about. That's why I mentioned, you know, I'm making this because I'm making this video now so that I don't fucking forget I'm not worried about post uh, finale predictions because I can just go fucking wild with that, right? And make up any shit I want. But for, you know, the actual finale and its improvements, I kind of need to make that while it's fresh in my mind. So that's why I'm doing that now, 10 p.m. in the dark in my car. But anyway, so in why I titled it, let's let's get to the crux of the matter here, right? Crux of the issue. Why I titled it season finale improvements. And again, this goes hand in hand and in line with my previous video saying, okay, it's actually good if you ignore the etchy, right? That's literally what I titled the video, part one and part two. It goes hand in hand with that because the issue and crux of them are being that the finale kind of sucks. Like, I mean, that's kind of put it, that's, that's how I'm going to put it, right? You know, I'm just going to flat out say, you know, the finale kind of sucks, right? You know, it's not that good. It's not that great. You know, it, it really does just kind of suck. And again, it's the build up to the finale is nice. The build up to the finale is good. Like again, those last like, you know, waning episodes before the final one. But the finale itself as episode 12, you know, which again is kind of it lines up perfectly. It just kind of sucks. And again, I'm, I'm going to kind of go over why. Um, because again, right, it, it's kind of funny because about a month ago, maybe more. No, I think it was close to a month ago. I made a video on. Uh, and it's the anime that actually inspired me to make, you know, these kind of black screen videos for anime, uh, Anohara, right? I talked about how the show itself sucked ass, 
you know, but the ending, or not sucked ass. It was subpar, but the ending was, you know, great and made up for it. And since it was one season, you may as well watch it. This is pretty much the inverse of that. You know, the show itself is great, you know, if you ignore the etchy, right? It's actually pretty good, but the ending itself is kind of subpar and finale subpar. And again, you know, as I mentioned, the show isn't finished. It's not complete. It hasn't concluded yet. It simply ended again, you know, that finale for season one. Granted, I don't know if there's season two in the works. And again, I'll get this in the get touch on this in the next video. I don't think they need an entire season two, only like two or three more episodes to wrap it up. But again, that's just kind of so part of it can be blamed on just the state of the show ending off where it did acting more as a finale for season one as opposed to the actual conclusion of the show. But also part of it, again, is just, you know, the finale kind of sucked. And that's why I'm going to go over why here again. The buildup was perfectly fine. You know, pretty much everything. I liked everything about the show. You know, like I pretty much enjoyed everything about the show and actually like liked everything there, like that the show had to offer. There weren't really any parts they disliked. Again, pretty much the only thing was the finale. So that's kind of why I'm going to go over here. So again, not the buildup, but the finale itself. So anyway, after six minutes, let's finally get into it. So again, issues with the finale, right? So the issues with the finale is that it's this big battle you know big great giant battle right basically between again the one who is the one who is closer to god right the main antagonist who controls the, let's just call him the one or let, let's just call him the main antagonist it's the one who can who's close to god who controls like 30 masks right that him and basically against everyone else you've got the main group with the two main characters the sniper mask the uh uh, one who is actually, what's it called? The one who is really close to God, I guess, whatever they call him, who is close to attaining Godhood. You know, you've got the group of the scientists, right? You know, with his, uh, he's the, also one who's close to God, his masks, you know, and then the doctor there, or what's it called? The person he survived or he spared there, right? Then you've got the old group of the main antagonist brother. So you've got that group as well. As well as just, you know, a couple or few other characters, uh, right? You know, you have the one friend of the uh, main character, right? As a, another person who's close to God with his mask. So, but it pretty much amounts to everyone versus, again, the main antagonist, right? Who we see. The one who's basically trying to dominate and rule the... who The one, who, I guess, we, we learn in the finale that his plan is to basically replicate the dream world in the real world when he eventually gets out. So, basically... Again, the one who's kind of, again, trying to, uh, again, the one who's trying to do that. So that's fine, right? So that's fine, again, that they set it up that way. But the issue being that the battle that takes place in the episode, you know, I, I don't know how else to put other than it doesn't really feel like a battle at all. It, it more so feels like just... You know, like a skirmish, like is a good way to put it. Like, like, let's, let's put it this way, you know, for as shitty as the show Miraculous Ladybug is, like just being blunt and quite honest, I feel like their finales were really good. I really like season one didn't have finale. I enjoyed their season two and three finale. Season four is kind of, eh, it, it was like, again, now it was a bit different, but I enjoyed the season two and three finales. Part of it was, again, they had two episodes, but that was a decision made by them. I mean, this show basically had, like, two, honestly, two or three episodes of, like, build-up for the finale. So, like, if you include that, right, it had actually more time. But, again, I feel like that's something Miraculous Slaybug does really well in Season 2 and 3, their finales. Because what you see is you see a logical chain of events from both, honestly, mainly from the antagonist's point of view... And then the protagonists need to overcome each hurdle. Like, that's what they do well in the season two or three finale. It's like multiple levels, right? Or it's multiple, what would you call it? Um, Jesus Christ, what's the term for it? Not multiple levels, um, but multiple... Uh, it, God damn it, I can't think of the fucking word. It's multiple... Um, I guess levels is just a good way to put it, right? Um or layers, layers, multiple layers of, like, planning and plans and contingencies, right, that the protagonists have to overcome. And they're all kind of for one grand overarching thing, which is, again, you know, what the antagonist is after and what the protagonists are after, right? Which, again, the case for a Miraculous Ladybug would be basically just a killing blow at either of them since they fought for so fucking long, right? 
it'll lay bug and shadow war and hawk moth their finales are good that's one thing i'm gonna give that show season two and three prove that right you know but i feel like that's kind of the issue with the finale in this show is it's a giant battle that was basically been set up for pretty much two or three episodes between again the main antagonist right and then pretty much everyone else but it doesn't really feel like that it feels like more like small skirmishes like a again right there isn't sort of a logical chain of events right you know that the protagonists need to overcome even if it's split into groups and there also isn't again that layering of like planning right and then plans and contingencies that you know the antagonist had he has a, he had his one you know, ace in the hole, right, is one, uh, what's it called, a uh, secret weapon, right, which was the, again, um, the justice, uh, mask, right, or whatever they called him, but that ended up, like, not really being used for that, as opposed to just, like, its own separate skirmish, which is, again, the issue there, and not only that, there wasn't really any overarching kind of goals, or, like, uh, what would you call it, there wasn't any overarching goals, or, um, uh, what would you call it, uh, yeah, I guess goals are, like, um, not ambitions, I guess goals or ambitions. There wasn't any overarching like goals or ambitions that either group was trying to accomplish. So it, it, we know that the protagonists and pretty much everyone else besides the main antagonist are trying to like end the realm. But we know that in Escape, but we know that the main antagonist is basically trying to replicate the realm that they're in, in the real world when he eventually gets there. So there's a conflict of interest there. But beyond that, there's no real like overarching goal or like ambition or like I guess not stake. There's nothing really overarching there on either side for what they're trying to accomplish beyond just that conflict of interest. Like it's not necessarily like a killing blow for either of them, right? I mean, the protagonists are more so fighting them, or I guess the like for different reasons. I mean, you know, the main character is trying to find her brother. You know, her friends trying to protect her. You know, again, you know, all these are characters are doing it for different reasons. Again, and all of them are still trying to destroy the main antagonist, right? And escape the realm. But beyond that, you know, it's not like they're trying to take the tower or something. They're trying to take the helicopter. Nothing relating to that. Again, and even for the antagonist, right? Like, there's nothing he's really doing or gaining by fighting off, like, the group of people, right? He's not, like, again, he himself isn't trying to, you know... I guess, like, take over a tower or the helicopter, right? Even though that was... Though, those were things that were, like, legitimately mentioned earlier in the season or show that kind of just dissipated and didn't really become a thing. Like, I thought that was the direction it was going to take. It's like, oh, the antagonist is going to try and take the helicopter and they're going to stop him. But that doesn't seem to be the case. And again, this is what I mean by there's no real, like, overarching goal or, like, ambition or, like, uh, what would you call it? Um... Like, God, I used a term for it earlier, but I don't remember. Like, there's no overarching goal or ambition or, like, again, you know, thing that they're trying to accomplish, right? It's beyond, again, just, you know, what would you call it? Uh, beating the main antagonist, right? You know, each of them are doing it for their own reason, and they're trying to beat him because he's the main antagonist. But there's nothing really beyond that, which is the issue. And then, again, right, even for the main antagonist, like, he's not doing it for that, right? He's just like for take over the tower the helicopter he's just trying to beat him because you know they're what's it called uh they're in his way right like something like that so it's like again there's no there's nothing overarching there which in that on top of again not it not really feeling like a battle more so than just like small skirmishes between like a couple or few people like again it's just i feel like it's kind of a letdown it's kind of subpar and again this is one thing miraculous Bug did good right surprisingly the season two and three finales, you know, again, you have sort of, again, this layering of plans and contingencies, right? You know, a series of events, you know, and then hurdles that the protagonists need to overcome on or to actually get to the main antagonist, right, for the finale. Um, and then along with that, you have this overarching goal and ambition, like what each side wants to accomplish, right? You know, again, right, and them trying to deal killing blow and also trying to finally secure their... <laughs> Like, finally, you know, put them out for good and secure the miraculous. But that that's just not here. It's just a series of, like, small skirmishes between a couple or a few people. And then neither of them are really doing it for any overarching goal or reason beyond just defeating them for the sake of, like, being them for the sake of defeating them, right? You know, there's no plan to take over the tower. There's no plan to take over the helicopter, 
right? You know, there's not even really a plan to free her brother. Like, it, well, I guess that's kind of getting a different issue. Well, not really, but it's more so, I guess, the issue of them all having doing it for their own reasons, which I guess isn't really an issue, but it's more so, again, right? I feel like that's kind of perpetuating it, right? And why it just doesn't feel like this battle that they built up to for like two or three episodes. So again, it's let's okay. So let's let's put this on hold, right? Let's let's take a breather. So it's been 15 minutes, right? I've talked about pretty much the main issue, and that's kind of the main issue, or I guess that's the primary or main issue I see with that, right? There's a couple other issues with it though, or there are a couple of our issues again, right? I feel like another issue is the issue of scope. I just feel like there was honestly too much going on. Granted, again, the issue that I touched touched on, but is the main one, which is why I talked about for like seven or eight minutes. But again, there's also the issue of scope. I feel like, again, you know, it was just too much. Or like, they're trying to do too much for one episode. If anything, it would have really requ required two, like Miraculous Ladybug. But I feel like, again, just for one, I feel like there is the issue of scope. And they're just trying to do too much. So, like, for example, the main antagonist is 30 masks. I'm not even sure if we've seen all 30. I think we've seen close to, like, 15. But the issue being, I and then not only that, since... You have the protagonist and pretty much everyone else who teamed up with them, as opposed to kind of the groups having gone their separate ways and keeping a smaller group of main protagonists, right? You've just got too much, right? Like, I don't know what else to say other than it's just too much to try and cram into one episode for like a battle that can resolve everything, right? At least for the season. Um, again, it, it's something that where it's like, again, that's, that's kind of the issue there. There's just too much. There's too much on the antagonist side, too much on the protagonist side to really be able to just realistically feasibly resolve in one episode. So I feel like that also contributed to that, right? And that's also kind of the issue there in that, again, they just try to do too much, right? I feel like that's also like, and again, that's something I'm going to get on to the improvements and I'll kind of also go over what I think it should have looked like, but I feel like that's the main other issue, right? Is that there's just too much. And again, with that, right, I guess, yeah, because I, I realized I looked at 15 and I'm like, I haven't gone over the improvements yet. But I feel like, again, the, the main issue was the one I touched on, right, for like seven or eight minutes. But that's also another notable issue, right? I just simply think the scope, right? They tried to do too much and they weren't able to pull it off. Like, I feel like there was too much going on on the antagonist side, too much going on the protagonist side, right? To be able to feasibly resolve it in all, again, the season finale, at least for season one, if not the whole show. So again, moving on, right, going over improvements, because I realized, yeah, again, I'm spending way too much time. So how I would have improved it. So again, and this is me speaking, right, again, I guess I could make a separate video on improvements more so than finale review. But I mean, I touched on the main two, I just spent way too much time on that first one. But I touched on the main two right against the lack of a feeling of a battle, right? Not only between the actual events, but also kind of the uh, goals and ambitions and what each side is trying to accomplish there. And then also just the fact of scope. There's too much going on, too much on the main antagonist, uh, too much on the antagonist side, too much on the protagonist side to feasibly be able to resolve. And then, uh, what would you call it? Uh, to be able to resolve and then, uh, what would you call it? Um, resolve and then, Gee, it's a C word. I can't remember it. Um, i would not consolidate. I God, I don't remember. Um, to resolve or, yeah, I can't fucking remember. Holy shit, my memory is terrible. But uh, yeah, resolve or I guess um, not consolidate. But yeah, just resolve in one show right? or the one season. So, and I also realized. So the second video, I'll also go over. Not just uh, post-season uh, predictions, but also questions, right? Post-season questions. So that, that'll be a two-part video like this. So that evens it out. But anyway, so moving on to the actual improvements and what I would have done. I feel like the first thing is, again, establish that overarching goal. Establish that overarching, you know, goal ambition or uh, what's it called? You know, what each side is trying to accomplish specifically for the antagonist. Because again, for this battle, it didn't really seem like he had anything he was trying to accomplish besides just simply get rid of the protagonist because they're in the way. And that usually leads to failure. Like, And again, at least this feeling of it not really being a battle, right? So first establish that. I feel like a battle for, let's say, either the tower or the helicopter, like I had mentioned, would solve that, right? Honestly, the helicopter is probably more realistic 
So let's say again, after he confirms, okay, the helicopter and the guardian angels are the ones trying to protect the realm, right? Or the ones who are acting against the ones who are close to God. Let's say he sets up an ambush for the helicopter. He recalls all his men, right? 30, whatever. Um, he recalls all his men. And I'll go over that, how I also think in our solution could be reducing the amount of masks he has, right? As well as for the protagonist having some groups go their own separate ways and keeping it small. But again, right? Let's say he does something like recalls his group at the next helicopter landing zone and actually ambushes the helicopter. And then that's something where let's say he gains it and then makes its way over to the tower and then let's say that leads to the protagonist catching wind and needing to stop him before he gets there, right? Making their way to the tower themselves, right? And then a ba the battle ensues there, right? So as opposed to the battle being simply just, you know, both sides trying to wipe each other out, all of a sudden there's an objective and it's that t either helicopter that the, the antagonist is in or that tower. And I feel like, again, that would feel much more like a battle than what we actually got. So I feel like that's the first main improvement actually make again you know and that's simply for the antagonist for the protagonist i guess that actually solves their issues as well right they're not just trying to again you know wipe out the antagonist right they're actually trying to stop them from taking the helicopter to the tower and presumably achieving their goal in not only escaping this reality but being able to imp or that realm but being able to implement it on the real world or apply it to the real world so all of a sudden there's an actual objective to this battle that's being fought over as opposed to just simply both sides trying to wipe each other out, which again is the main issue. So, but that's the solution then. A again, as I mentioned, the second thing that I think, the big thing that I think they could do, which again, as I mentioned, was simply reduce the numbers for each side. Again, right? As I mentioned, for the main antagonists, you know, they control 30 masks, right? I don't think we've even seen 15 of them. So I think there is no reason to give them that main mass under his control. Honestly, I think what they should have done is for the other protagonists who are ones close to God who can control masks, I say give them no more than one mask, maybe two. And then what you do is you give the antagonist, like, let's say, maybe, like, I don't want to say as low as six, but maybe, like, or I don't want to say, like, half a dozen, but let's say about a dozen. Let's give them a dozen masks. Like, I feel like that would be, and maybe they don't even need that much. Let's honestly, let's compromise. Let's say like eight or 10, give them like eight or 10 masks. I feel like then that's something to where, again, they need to think about, okay, like here's how the mask can be used individually for like these specific, for their strengths and weaknesses, right? He can still have, you know, his trump card in the justice one, right? Maybe that's a secret one. But again, I feel like just reduce the number because again, there's just, like, that's just, there's no reason for it to be that much, right? And again, it, it's something where I feel like that's what just causes, the, again, this lack of a bow feeling. Because there's just too much, right? Too much scope. So again, I'd say for the protagonists, for the ones who are close to God, reduce the number of masks they have to one, maybe two. And for the main antagonists, I'd say reduce it to like eight or ten, right? And, and I feel like all of a sudden, you know, there's a lot smaller scope so you can flesh it out on top of there being an actual battle for an objective, as opposed to simply just trying to wipe each other out. So that's there's that, right? Reduce that. And then also, as well as for the protagonist, this is one thing I mentioned. You know, because it pretty much ended up becoming just everyone versus the main antagonist. You can have, you know, some of the groups go off their own way. Like, you know, I still think it should have been the main character, their friend, you know, Sniper Mask, and then the girl. I think you should have those four, and you could have those four. I honestly don't think in maybe, again, maybe, hard maybe, you know, the group of friends, again, or what's it called? The Yuri's brothers, like, group, right? Like, group of friends there. So, I'd say that's, like, a maybe, though. Because even then, you're already increasing that number to close to 10. I think that's fine. But, like, for example, like, you know, the doctor, uh, you know, the, um, the doctor, the, uh, person he spared right you know the what's it called the friend of the main character's brother and his her, their masks right like i feel like they shouldn't have really been involved like because in a two of them have control over masks right um so which also adds to that number but we already have two people in the group who can control masks right we know so in the main four so again, that's something where I feel like just at the very least, 
have, you know, just the main four. If not, maybe add uh, her brother's group, a group of friends. But ev- anyone else shouldn't have really been involved. They should have caught in their own sort of like episode or they should have had their own arc and then kind of went off in their own direction. Like so with the doctor, the person he spared, uh, again, his her uh, brother's friend, right? Kind of anyone else like it, they they shouldn't have really, again, gotten involved because, again, the issue is scope. I feel like it's a classic issue, right? Where, again, if they had two episodes, again, maybe they could have fit everything in. Like MLB, right? That's what they do. Granted, they had like two or three episodes of build-up. But still, either that or if they want to make it fit in one episode, this is what they should have done. So, again, that's there's that. And then, again, the last issue that, again, I mentioned is um, it feeling like a series of skirmishes, right? But I feel like, again, if you do all these things, right, if you have an actual objective they're fighting over, you know, and then again, you reduce the scope in the amount of mass and the amount of uh, protagonist groups, like, I feel like that should come naturally where you can create that series or chain of events, right? You know, the layering of planning, plans and contingencies, right, that the protagonists need to overcome in order to stop the antagonist. And you can have all those centered around surrounding the objective. And then now that you have that reduced scope, you can actually do that, right? Create like a list of sorts. And I feel like, again, that should almost come naturally. But again, it's something to where, yeah, it's just something to where, again, once you get everything else, that should just come naturally. You shouldn't, like, I can go through like an actual series of things. Maybe I do that with, but here's the thing. I'm going to do that with the post-season finale video anyway, (coughs) to where I go over that kind of stuff so the issue there and again it's already been 26 minutes so the issue there being don't really want to go over that for this but again I feel like and that's gonna honestly kind of wrap up this video I don't feel the need to go through anything else again because this video was again it it is a long video right 26 minutes this is season finale you know improvements right again we went over pretty much what actually happened, right? And what I think was wrong with it, but and then how it could improve, right? Because again, as I mentioned, you know, I, I made a video about a month ago on Anohara, right? You know, the show was subpar. The ending was great. I feel like this was kind of, you know, the inverse, right? You know, the show's great. The ending, great, or I guess the finale subpar, because again, it's clearly not the end of the show, which to be fair, and this is, I feel like a good place to wrap it up. To be fair, I feel like is part of the issue is that, Okay, it's ending at season one. Clearly, there's it's not concluded yet. There's more that's going to come. And that's why it doesn't feel like it doesn't have that impact as a finale. But again, so it's partially that. But it's also something to where, again, I think all the issue, issues I mentioned surrounding, again, a lack of objective, you know, scope, like those two specifically. And then again, how improving on those could make it that much better. I feel like those are also legitimate issues. And again, I guess the best way to end it off is, again, and I'll talk about this in the next video. I I hope we get a season two. I hope we get a continuation. I don't know. I don't make the show. So, again, I honestly only think it needs maybe like two or three more episodes. But who knows? Again, I'll make the show. I just hope we get some uh, closure, I guess, is a way to put it um, for the show. Because, again, it was it was interesting. It was good despite all the fan service, right? Again, you know, the ending... The finale could have been better, but up until that, you know, it was good, right? Again, even if you ignore the fan service, right? Again, and I mentioned this in the previous video, you know, I'm a 22-year-old male, right? You know, like, it's not like I'm opposed to that stuff, right? It's more so just when it actually gets in the way of the fucking show, which for this so surprisingly, it didn't feel, it didn't feel that way, right? You know, so it was, again, it was a, it was pleasing, right? It was, I guess, a pleasure is a way to put it, just to kind of have that. Uh, what would you call it? Like every so now and then. But again, right? The show, it's it, not at the cost of the show. So let's put it that way. But again, with that, I'm going to hear. I don't have anything else to say. So with that, I think that's it for this one. See you in the next one.